Hi, hopefully you can see me well enough in this lighting, but I just got home from a tattoo parlor and I got a really interesting tattoo that means a lot to me personally. So before I reveal the tattoo and before I do some after cleaning and show you guys what I do, this tattoo is based on the pentagram. Don't freak out because it's a pentagram, okay? But it's based on the pentagram from Black Butler, or aka Kiro Shitsuji. And, um, yeah, I really love that show. It's one of my favorite animes, and it always has been. And even to this day, like, I watched it as a middle schooler, and to this day, I still rewatch the series over and over again. Kind of like Tokyo Ghoul and Naruto. Those three series, I cannot stop watching, no matter how many times I watch them. So, before I reveal this tattoo, I want to keep in mind, warning, there is going to be blood. So if you don't like blood, if you're squeamish like I am, and if you don't want to see blood, then quick click away right now. Okay, that's just a discretion to you queasy people. Because I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm queasy. When I saw the blood while my tattoo was being done, I got a little queasy. But I'm always like that when I get tattoos. So, anyways... Ta-da! This is what with the wrapping on. Um, that's my dinosaur one, but this is my pentagram from Black Butler, and I'm going to do an unwrapping and cleaning session with you guys with my tattoos. You're supposed to leave them on for an hour if you're wrapped like this. If you're wrapped in like the black stuff with the tape. And I think you can keep it on overnight. I'm not sure. Um, I usually leave mine on for an hour because I get a little impatient. But my tattoo artist usually tells me to leave them on for an hour. It all depends with your tattoo artist. So, here we go. Just slowly unwrapping it. So I don't mess it up. And yes, this... I've had tattoos before. This is my fourth one. So, yeah, and I do plan on getting more, and yes, I know I don't post on this channel as much as I do, or used to, but yeah, ignore the dried blood, but this is it. So now I'm going to show you guys the cleaning portion. <laughs> This may not be recommended by everybody, but since I've had tattoos in the past, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so everyone's going to have their own opinion. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> so I like to take cold water and a washcloth. And I like to soak it like that. And I like to take an unscented soap. This is a dial unscented soap. And I just lather it up on my washcloth and then clean up any excess ink or blood that might be on the surrounding areas of your tattoo before we actually get to the actual tattoo cleaning part. So this is going to hurt quite a bit. But it's normal because, you know, you had a needle digging into your skin. I had a needle digging, digging into my skin for an hour and a half. So obviously it's going to hurt. So just gently wipe it with your soapy washcloth. Not too rough. Okay, if you do it too rough, you're probably going to fuck up your tattoo. But yeah, once you get that all done... You should look like this. Your arm's gonna be stiff, obviously, because you know you got a fresh tattoo. Obviously, that shit is gonna be fucking numb. 
The next thing I like to use are these Equate Flushable Wipes. They're meant for your butthole. I know that, but these are really great for cleaning your tattoos as well. And I like to use these, especially with aftercare of my tattoos. So yeah, as you can see, I'm already starting to bruise my tattoo artist for me because my skin is so sensitive and that, you know, this is a sensitive part of the arm to get tattooed you're prone to bruising and I'm already have started to bruise and I just came home like an hour ago so yeah but anyways let's kind of go on it nice and gentle you might see some excess ink it's totally fine you know it's just excess ink it's not like it's gonna affect anything so when she get that done. Now, this I highly recommend. Um, my tattoo, or the tattoo parlor that I go to called Infinity. They sell this Aquatat for $5. It's a little tube. And it's H2O, H2O Ocean first in first aid with no mineral oil. And it's a 0.25 ounce. This stuff actually goes a long way and you don't need a lot of it. You need a very thin layer because if you don't do a thin layer, it's gonna make your tattoo all gunky. So, I'm gonna take my Aqua Tat and I usually just take two fingers and then think about this one since my tattoo is quite large, I'm gonna use a little bit more than I usually do just to be safe and then just begin to rub it on your tattoo now keep in mind after getting a tattoo it's best not to shower up to 24 hours after getting a tattoo and I know it sounds gross because I take showers three times a day but yeah it's because I kind of have to because I have a medical problem but besides that point you know, I'm gonna have to avoid showering for 24 hours. So by like 9 p.m. tomorrow, I'll be able to shower. So that's gonna kind of suck, but hopefully I won't have to go out tomorrow. So yeah. So once you get your aqua tap on, I'm just gonna rinse this off my fingers. Then dry it off. Now keep in mind if you have fresh tattoos and if you're going to wash your tattoos when you wash your hands, use unscented soap and your aqua tat and you should be totally 100% fine. You can sleep with it, you just can't sleep on it. I slept on it with my dinosaur tattoo on and that's why it's a little messed up where the eyes and the arms are, but that was my mistake not the tattoo artist's mistake, my mistake. And plus I'm really bad about sunscreen and the sun. So it's kind of like a little lightened and deformed a little bit, but you can't really notice the abnormalities unless I point it out. So yeah, that is my tattoo aftercare. And yes, I plan on getting more tattoos. And you might be thinking, when did this happen? It happened two weeks ago. My husband did it for me. Um, if you don't follow me on social media, then go ahead because I post more updates about stuff like this and stuff like this. And I guess emo clothing, I don't know. But anyways, I apologize for never posting like I used to. I have a life that's my only excuse. I have a life. I get lazy. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm going to relax. Finish watching the new Jacqueline Glenn vlog because she's pregnant and I've been following her pregnancy journey. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys whenever the next time I post. So, bye!